Alright, this is 5th grade, Module 2, Lesson 18. We are continuing to estimate our division problems. And in this problem, the thing about estimation is not all students are going to estimate in the exact same way, so it's your job as the teacher to uh, look at students' estimations and see if, even though two students may have different estimations, uh, to see if they're both right because uh, just because they get different answers doesn't mean one is right and one is wrong. So in this first problem, 2,109 divided by 23, hmm, I think what I would probably do is I'd take that 23 and I'd say, hmm, let's round that down to 20. And then the 2,109, I'd probably round that down to 2,000. And in this case, that's the same thing as dividing 200 so that means this little comma would go away. 200 divided by 2, and that's 100. So there's my estimation there. For the next problem, problem C, 8,215 divided by 38. Hmm. Again, I'm going to kind of stick with that, starting with that second number. That seems to be my theme today. I'm going to round that to 40, and then I'm going to think of, hmm, this 8,215. What kind of what can I round that to so that it's a multiple of 4 or 40? And I'm going to think I can round that down to 8,000. So it becomes 8,000 divided by 40. Cross off a zero, so we have 800 divided by 4, which is 200. And there's my estimation there. Now we're going to practice with a word problem. We've got 91 boxes of apples are, uh, hold a total of 2,605 apples, assuming each box has about. So that's the, our, our hint that we're supposed to be estimating here. About the same number of apples. Estimate, now they explicitly say it, estimate the number of apples in each box. So we know that if we were going to find this exactly, it would require division. So 2,605 divided by 91. And I would probably begin by estimating and rounding 91. Oh, you know, actually this isn't so... Well, one way to do it is round that to 100. Make this 2,600. I could round that up to 3,000 cross off two zeros, cross off two zeros, and now we have 30 divided by 1, which is 30. So one estimation could be an estimation of 30, 30 apples in each box. I just thought of another one. 2,605 divided by 91, I could round and then make this est estimation, that approximate symbol, it's kind of a, a wavy equal sign. I can round that 91 to 90, and then a multiple of 9, or 90, is uh, 2,700. So I can round this 2,605 to 2,700. That seems pretty unusual, uh, but interestingly enough, if I look at that, and this is a total coincidence here, um, but this 0 crosses off with this 0, and now we've got... 200 and, uh, 2, 270 divided by 9, and that equals 30. And so, wow, we get the exact same estimation using a, two totally different techniques. Now, that's not going to happen very often, so uh, uh, don't expect that to happen all the time. And that is Lesson 5, Module 2, um, no, Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 18, where we're using estimation with our division problems.